I make a blank document that is 2000 pixels by 2000 pixels with a transparent background. I make a circle with the border for the outer edge of the magic circle. I duplicate this circle, scale it down, and change the border. I continue to add various shapes and sizes on different layers. When I have everything complete, I export the graphics as an SVG. Importing SVG files into Blender is an easy process and they are treated as curve objects. I scale and center the graphics in the viewport. I then convert each curve to a mesh and use the E and S keys to scale certain meshes to add more definition. I add a material to each of the meshes. I make sure each mesh has the same material. I make sure to increase the emission. I open the compositing tab and activate use nodes. I add a glare node between the layers node and the composite node. This is where Bloom has been relocated in newer versions of Blender. I change the glare type to Bloom and change the options to get the look that I want. I open the timeline and under the Keen menu for the Keen set, I select Rotation. This means any keys I add will only affect the rotation. I make sure each graphics origin is set to the 3D cursor. I select each graphic separately and add keyframes on frame one, rotate the graphic on the end frame and add another keyframe. When I'm done, I select all the keyframes and use the T key to access the interpolation menu. I will use the linear option so the animation does not have a slow start and slow stop. 